why have you decided to come in for a vasectomy? Uh, between myself and my partner, we have seven girls and one boy. Right, that sounds Next like... Next question. Sound, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like uh, this is a particularly opportune uh, occasion for you then. Well, I was already going to have one. Yeah. And then um, my partner's friend told us about today, so we uh, decided to go for it. So. Did you intend to have seven or did they just sort of keep on coming? Well, they didn't knock on the door and I'd let them in. Nah, <laughs> um, <laughs> nah I, um, I had four girls previously. My partner had three girls and we've now got a little boy. So oh, from okay. 20 months old to 17 years old, boy's the youngest. We've got older girls, so just the way it happened, I suppose. Okay, so they're not all yours biologically? Nah, but I look at them like mine because, um, yeah, just the way life goes, I think. Mm -hmm. Give them all a good life, they've all got good schools, you know. What else do you do for them? I believe if, you've, uh, if you can afford to have kids, have them. If you can't, don't bother. Well, I've been looking to have one for uh, a few months, actually, since my son was born. And um, for some reason, or for one reason or another, it just didn't come to pass. So uh, the fact that this is for free, I guess that's the trade-off. <laughs> um, prepared to accept with uh, what comes with that. I am a low carbon footprint kind of person. I uh, don't drive a car, I only ride a bicycle. Um, maybe contrary to popular uh, requirements, I even rode here on a bicycle. Um, and uh, I uh, run a little business that's all about recycled products, and my whole, my whole life is about keeping a small carbon footprint, so I guess I'm in line with what you're doing. So you feel um, you're, you're actually doing it for the planet? I feel I'm, I'm doing it firstly not in a selfish way for myself, but as a self-determined self decision. Some people will say, oh, that's very selfish, you know, it's you should go ahead and procreate. Yeah, I come from Colombia. Um, I think it should happen there more. They have, this should move on to South America, onto Africa, because there's girls 13, 14 years old having kids, and it's children raising children. And there's guys that are 17, 18, 9 years old <coughs> that have various children, and they're young enough, and I mean, they're too young to be having children, there's an overpopulation situation happening all over South America and all over the world, basically. I don't have kids. I don't plan on having any. Um, I think more people should step forward and, and do the step, as well as helping women to not have to take pills all the time and, you know, yeah. I have two beautiful children, uh, two girls, uh, severely outnumbered at home, but that's not going to stop me today. Yeah. Um, fantastic wife who's in the audience at the moment. Yeah. And see this as the... Um, final step of our uh, family planning journey. Um, sitting around feeling pretty useless while my wife had our first two children and got, you know, both by cesarean section. And uh, it was good to be able to put my hand up and say, well, I'll take this one on board. Would, would a consideration have been that you've got two girls, you'd like a son? Look, if we had another child, I'm sure that, you know, oh, yeah, positive that we'd have enough love for that child to bring that child into the world. And um, it just comes down to the fact that um, our decision was to bring our two children up, um, you know, or have a family of four. And, um, you know, that's basically, we'd be able to give them the life that we wanted to give them. Um, and poss quite possibly whilst the third one would come along, we'd get exactly the same amount of love. Um, we might not be able to provide as much as what we want to to the two girls. Uh, it's easier and safer for me to have the SNP than it is for my partner to go down the uh, path of tubal ligation or to continue taking oral contraceptives. So, what are you expecting? Uh, not to be given, able to have given children that you've anymore. You've actually been sitting <laughs> watching other vasectomies happen, uh, and I don't know about you, but I actually find the images somewhat confronting. Um, how does it make you feel? Uh, I. I'm a nurse as well, so uh, and I actually did my practicum in theatre doing vasectomies, and I actually got to cut somebody's vas deferens one day after they were uh, induced. So uh, don't tell them though. But uh, so maybe if you ask Doug nicely, you might let. Me know. <laughs> I think I'll leave it to the experts. <laughs> I'd certainly been thinking about it for some time. I was aware that the procedure had changed, and this minimally invasive thing is. Uh, is obviously a serious advantage, but um, uh, it was definitely the thing that pushed me over over the uh, the line. And also, my youngest is 17 months old, so this is all, you know, and that's it. We've decided that we'd have one, and 
obviously too for me. So very happy and it came at a great time and couldn't think of supporting a better cause too and stepping up. David, uh, talk to me, brother. How's it going? Oh, not too bad. Yeah, what's your story? Um, I um, heard it on the radio about uh, Lord Pesectomy Day and I said jokingly to my partner, Lisa, that uh, about it and uh, yeah, she just followed it up. <laughs> that uh, sounds like a joke with a punchline you weren't ready for. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, I is it something that you thought about and discussed earlier? Or? Oh, yes, oh, we were planning... Oh, I was planning on having one uh, anyhow, so, yeah. Um, I'm 43, um, in imminently 43. I've got a baby girl. Well, she's not a baby, she's four. Um, and I'm married, and um, we're quite happy with one, and this is the right decision, I think. And why did you decide not, not just to have a vasectomy, but to have it in a rather public way? I mean, we're going to splash you across the world. Um, I, I think it's. I think it just brings awareness of. I think it's about taking some responsibility, and I. I, I don't know why I did this. To be honest with you, I think it's one of those decisions that you make. But I think it. <laughs> it just kind of felt right. I mean, why not? And uh, I think if you're going to do it, as someone said to me, do it in style. So. Uh, <laughs> And uh, maybe make...